The residents are demanding that Minister Utoni look into claims of unequal land allocation, houses without basic services and poor service delivery. They also want the procurement of services of electrification projects, prepaid water meters, sewer master plans to be audited. We as residents, we are not toys. We as residents, we are not children that need to be tossed to and fro as the, the, the management feels. What we want is accountability to these services. The irregularities in procurement. The procurement service of the municipality have raised concern as several projects, including the SME Park at the single quarters, the sewer master plan, lunar park gym equipment, electrification of Hakana and prepaid metas. We're not all these were not advertised at all. It is just services that were just brought in our faces and we were supposed to just swallow. We want to know as residents what is the way forward. Minister Honorable Erasmus Utoni, we again urge that this is looked into. They also bemoan alleged fraud of land application forms where residents are forced to pay since 2006, but applicants are yet to receive feedback or plots. Allocation letters have been an issue. We have been asking and asking, and this is the greatest frustration of our residents at this particular point of time. Because we have applied, we follow procedures, but to the end of the day, it takes seven, eight, twelve, even five years or even three years. It is not right. Omaruru is a part two currently. We are about to go to a village because of the type of leaders that are basically playing around in the office and not doing their work but doing other things that are not supposed to be. We want a change, and we are looking for that change. Dear Honorable Erastus Tony, you are the only change right now we are waiting for. If not you, matters are going to become matters we are going to take in hands ourselves as residents. Omaruru Mayor Vincent Kahwa said municipality did not snap the petitioners, but they are aware on a budget tabling trip at Swakopmund. He, however, added council is aware of housing and landless challenges that is being addressed, including plans to electrify 19 houses where some residents of single quarters were relocated to. Kahwa says the Siwa network upgrade is underway to benefit all residents, adding funding for the completion of the project has been availed. On prepaid water meter issues, Council says residents with high debt are the most affected by the automated system that allocates portions of the token funds towards clearing of debt. The mayor says the automated water system was put up after the community demanded for the removal of Red Force, who was set to help clear a debt of $78 million in rates and taxes. He added the current management is competent to run council affairs. Faith Sankwasa, NBC News, Omaruru.